man will be the president of Ghana. And after it has been declared, this man will be sworn in as the president of Ghana. Nothing will happen. The angel said to me, and the, I asked, who is this man? And the angel said to me, it's a John Dramani Mahama. Why am I telling you? I, I, some people say, uh, some prophets are saying this, some are saying it. Do you care about what other prophets are saying? I have taught you that every time a prophet prophesy, judge it. So me, as I have prophesied, judge me. Judge the prophecy. Because anyone can speak, I can lie to you. Anyone can lie to you. So the fact that other prophets are speaking, it's no contradiction. One of us is lying. I greet you my lovely family welcome you to another video so if you are new to our channel can you show us love by subscribing by liking and sharing this content you know uh, for the past few i think for the past few this last month i've been speaking much about the ghana election because uh, the ghana election is very key and it's, it's very important to me uh, so i shared prophecy concerning the election and you know yesterday i shared a video where I talked about the same God, but different prophecy and different vision. So um, today, uh, today I saw a video of uh, Prophet Bernard L. Bernard also was also speaking again, giving an update concerning the Ghana election, what the angel of the Lord revealed to him. But according to him, he said no other person will win the election out of all the candidates than uh, ex-president, former president John Dramani Maham. He said the angel of the Lord took him and the angel of the Lord showed him the man that will sit upon the throne of Ghana. And he said in that uh, that vision that the angel of the Lord showed to him, it was uh, former president John Dramani Mahama. So uh, this is the update he gave and I want to share the video so that we can all watch. Uh, so subscribe, like, share and comment. Let's get into this video. I'll see you after the video. A lot of things have been said about the election and many have shared their thoughts and I'm seeing all manner of confusion. I will not, Friday I will address it better, but I just want to say something. Mm, um, but you see, maybe you remember here, I'm a prophet, I'm not a pastor. So whatever God reveals to me, even if you're not uncomfortable, I will say it. Then go and look for a pastor and sit under me, I'm a prophet. Mm -hmm. Why is that? When God should they would look, go and tell them in private. Go and tell who in private. They go and tell us, go and tell them in private. Go and tell who and who in private. Whatever, whatever, whatever happens should happen. Who said that whatever we say, we want to be accepted? We don't say things for to be accepted. Wow. This ministry is a dangerous ministry. You say the truth, people hate the truth, they will deal with you. And God will give you the grace to carry what you have been dealt with. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Haven't you seen other organizations conducting pools? Have anyone said that those organizations conducting pools, they are causing fear and panic? Then I'm telling you what I have seen, I'm causing fear and panic. Anyway, let me stick to my distance. I don't like, I, some days I just want to do the work of a pastor. So I went to God again in prayer to pray to ask the Lord Lord I have tried to stay out of anything politic especially when it has to do with Ghana Lord what are you telling me and I had a vision and in the vision I saw a man who looked like an angel and the angel held a man's hand and brought the man to me and the angel said that this man you have seen, you have seen him before. But I am showing you that after 7 December, when Ghanaians have gone to vote, Ghanaians will exercise their vote and they will vote for this man to become the president of Ghana. The Ghanaians will vote. The angel said to me, on the 7th of December, as we go and vote, Ghanaians will vote and they will choose this man to be the president of Ghana. And after Ghanaians have chosen, 
so will it be declared that this man will be the president of Ghana and after it has been declared this man will be sworn in as the president of Ghana nothing will happen the angel said to me and the, I asked who is this man and the angel said to me it is John Dramani Mahama why am I telling you I, I, some people say uh, some prophets are saying this some are saying it do you care about what other prophets are saying I have taught you that every time a prophet prophesy, judge it. So me, as I have prophesied, judge me. Judge the prophecy. Because anyone can speak, I can lie to you. Anyone can lie to you. So the fact that other prophets are speaking, it's no contradiction. One of us is lying. One of us is lying. It is either me or the rest. So judge it. So don't say it's contradiction. Nothing is contradicted. Are you hear what I'm saying? There is no contradiction anywhere. What am I saying? Is because I have a role to play in the prophetic dispensation of this nation and in the world in this season. And I will not keep quiet for voices to speak. Because the easiest way to let evil triumph is for the righteous to keep quiet. I have said it again. This is the vision. I did not say God choose. That's the God choose. No. You are too many. You you are about to vote. We are going to the conclusion. We are telling you. We have gone. To the conclusion you saw Laurent Babo in jail I saw the conclusion of the case that he's out I must say go with it. I'm telling you what will happen it's human being God decided a human being doing the implementation so it is you the Ghanaians who will go and vote God God does not have a vote I say God does not have a vote me I have a vote maybe let see all the same contradiction contradiction let me tell you again see me when God speak to me I don't talk to him no. not even I ask my wife when God speaks to me me babe can say me ja oko for years I've avoided granting interview eh I don't do interview. One when Kumasi, uh, what's the name of the guy? Oh, a popular guy came. I voted him, but God has given me the 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 go ahead. So I'll grab my first interview tomorrow. I've never walked into any radio station or television station in Accra. We call it there, but for the first time. I don't know the question they are going to ask me. When they ask me, I will tell them what God says. I should say it like that. When people get angry with your pastor, leave them. We trade with Exness. We take advantage of the best pricing on gold and oil. Tell them what God says. I should say it like that. When people get angry with your pastor, leave them. Because everyone has the right to choose what to do with their anger. Only that their anger must not affect other people. There is even a son. Eh, 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 Dengina menya yeswa me wadini. Prophets don't look at people. Prophets don't look at what is in. They look at what God has said. Into all this thing, people are saying, Master, we know our calling. No, we know our calling. Prophet talks about prophecy. So when we talk about prophecy, it's part of our calling. If you don't understand our calling, hey, our father should keep quiet. Are you my God? When God was coming, where were you? 
If you are not comfortable, no, I am a prophet. So, um, Prophet El Bernard uh, uh, went too far by saying uh, that um, they will see the true and the false prophet when uh, the election is being declared. You know, uh, something concerning election, if the prophet is not very, is not someone who is very deep in the things of the spirit, and is also very, uh, his level of conse consecration, his separation onto prayer is very deep. It is difficult for him to know when the Lord changes his mind. So Prophet El Benaz says that um, at the end of the election, we will know who will uh, be the true and who will be the false prophet. And he also says that uh, we should be able to design, design prophecy. Either he is lying or other prophets are lying. That's what he said. At least it's not my word. It is his word. That is what he said concerning the election. So he said, let nobody deceive anyone. But President, as former President John Mahama will be the president of Ghana. So he said he have heard a lot of prophets prophesying that Baumia will win. And he, uh, as for him, he just focused on what the Lord has shown him and what the Lord has t told him. So he, for him, he has confirmed that former President John Mahama is the president to come. So God bless you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment. I'll be bringing more updates. When I see any prophecy concerning the election, I'll be updating it. At the end of the day, we will know. He said we should design the prophet, uh, design the prophecy. So at the end of the day, after December 7th, we will know who is the true prophet and who is the live prophet. Please mark this word because after December, I'll be sharing video with you. So thank you for watching this video. God bless you.